Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just a little video on this monoshock setup here that uh, I've been uh, designing. Um, it's basically designed off of MIP, the old MIP one. And I uh, used a laser to uh, do some prototyping just for cutting out, the, you know, these pieces or whatever. And then um, once I get it right, then I'll put it on the CNC. So you have to get those shapes right. Um, it will have a sway bar, so the hole will be for the sway bar. And then you just drill a hole here to mount it. But um, the monoshock works pretty well. It's for an on-road car, so um, it'll work way better with the sway bar. Now I've got I've got extra sway bars on one of the RC10s. Um, that one's got one. I got one on here, and I got one on that one. I'll take one off, throw it on here. Um, this is on my uh, my Trackmaster chassis with uh, Trackmaster Beltri. Um But anyways, you can see it works well. It's not this shock's not even rebuilt or anything. So, but um, that's just acrylic pieces, just for testing it out. Just trying to get that old school flavor going on. Um, it's going to be a silver shock. I'm going to use one of those silver shocks just to match the back shocks. You've seen this car in the other video, so. But uh, RC10 MIP monoshock conversion. Next, I'm going to prototype the uh, shock tower. It's going to be a low profile shock tower. So that's it. Monoshock. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff.